when you add a user alias domain, that's just for if you want to use a second domain name that still works for your existing staff, but you want everyone to keep the same mailbox that they have. That's probably not what we're looking for here. If you've got a business and you're launching a new brand, well, we want to create a secondary domain because we're going to switch into that secondary domain. I'm a small business and it's only me. I had to start a new brand before my first one even took off. How can I add the second brand email address to my account without paying for another license? I don't have any employees. Great question. If you've started a Google Workspace account and now you've decided that you want to switch to another brand, well, there's a pretty easy way of doing that. You need to add the secondary domain to your Google account in your admin panel. And let me show you how to do that. Now I'm inside my admin panel here and this is accessible via admin.google.com. And I go to account and then domains and then manage domains. And that will show me all of the domains available for my account. Now, if you're just getting started, you'll probably have domain number one, which will be your primary domain. And you need to add an additional domain to your account. Now you add your second domain.com and you wanna add this as a secondary domain rather than a user alias domain. When you add a user alias domain, that's just for if you wanna use a second domain name that still works for your existing staff, but you want everyone to keep the same mailbox that they have. That's probably not what we're looking for here. If you've got a business and you're launching a new brand, well, we wanna create a secondary domain because we're gonna switch into that secondary domain. Here we have the secondary domain. We go ahead and add the domain, go through the wizard and verify that domain to make sure that it's working. And then once we're back here, you can see, we can click the change primary domain button and that will allow us to change a secondary domain into the primary domain. Now, I have a bit of a warning here. There are a number of risks to changing a primary domain. You can have interruption to your staff and you can also have issues with sharing. You have some URLs change in some of the parts of things like Google Sites and some other areas of the account. So I'd be very careful about changing this by yourself unless you've comfortably read all of the help guides with all of the warnings of how this should be done. If you're a little bit scared of it, or you're not someone who is particularly tech savvy, or you just want some help to make sure that nothing goes wrong with you or your staff, my recommendation would be you chat to our team, click on the link below, have a free consultation, and our team will be able to walk you through the process of migrating domains. We help hundreds and hundreds of businesses change brands, domain names, merge, demerge, and migrate data between different Google Workspace accounts. I will be very happy to help you manage your rebrand or your domain name change inside your Workspace account. But if you're ready to pull the trigger yourself or maybe you're a tiny business and you've just got one person, you can click the change domain. The changes are fairly minimal. And remember that you'll be signing in with your new domain name under your email address when you next go to sign in to your Google account. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.